Okay, it's time to talk about the liver. So, before we get into some of the details of the liver, uh, I'd like to just point out one thing that you may or may not know, and that is that the liver moves up and down as you breathe in and out. I thought this was very interesting, and you can notice how far it moves up and down by looking at this slide. Okay, we're looking at the liver uh, grossly, and we can see um, how it looks um, in relation to the stomach. So let's say a few things about the liver. First, it is important to know that the uh, liver uh, receives most of its blood from the portal vein, about 70%, and about 30% from the um, hepatic artery. And uh, later we'll show a different picture um, of the liver and we can learn, learn how the hepatic veins are formed by the union of the central veins. But we should know that, it, that these hepatic veins drain directly into the inferior vena cava, which is inferior to the diaphragm. And before we talk about some details, we should also understand about the lymphatics. And the lymphatics drain mainly to the hepatic nodes at the porta hepatis and from the hep uh, hepatic nodes uh, these, it goes into the celiac nodes and into the cisterna chile. So I'm going to ask a question and that is uh, from looking at this picture what encloses the portal triad? So we can see the portal triad here but what encloses it? So the answer is very simple. We can look here. It is the lesser omentum. Definitely not the greater omentum. It is the lesser omentum. And what ligaments are involved? Well, these um, two ligaments involved are the hepatogastric ligament and the hepatoduodenal ligament, which encloses the portal head. So we're not going to forget these, are we? So let's look at the portal trial try it in more detail. Where is the bile duct? Here is the bile duct. Where is the hepatic portal vein? Here is the uh, portal vein. And where is the hepatic artery? Okay, here's the hepatic artery. So now we know what the portal triad is, uh, what encloses it, and what ligaments are involved. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at the liver, two different looks of, uh, of the liver, and uh, we should notice right off that there are uh, four lobes. It looks like there were two lobes, but actually there are four. So you can notice we have the uh, left lobe and the right lobe, and then we have the caudate lobe, and then below we have the um, qu uh, quadrate lobe. So this is considered the right lobe right here. Now, um, important things I want to point out here uh, is that the left liver, the functional left liver, includes the left lobe, uh, which is the uh, caudate lobe, and the quadrate lobes. So you could say this is part of the uh, left lobe. And now we should look at uh, two uh, fetal remnants. Um, and in the form of ligaments, uh, we can see that uh, there's their round ligament, and this is the round ligament is the occluded remains of the fetal umbilical vein, and then there is the ligamentum venosum, and this ligamentum venosum is the fibrous remnant of the fetal ductus venosus. So let's see what else we can see here. We have the inferior vena cava on the top um, and the gallbladder down below here. And of course we have the portal triad. And let's remember what the portal triad is. The portal vein, hepatic artery, and the bile passages, the bile duct. So let's try to remember all these. Okay, so there is some confusion here. 
Um, so, I think I'm going to read right from Wikipedia. It says, the uh, human liver is normally divided into two lobes, left and right, if viewed from the parietal surface. But if observed on the visceral surface, it is divided into four lobes with the addition of the caudate and quadrate lobe. Other anatomical landmarks exist, such as the ligamentum venosum and the round ligament. So we see there is uh, some, a bit of confusion here, so if I figure it out, I'll update this video. Okay, I'm back again with another Wikipedia entry, uh, this time looking at uh, what it says about the right liver. It says the right lobe is a somewhat quadrilateral form. It's under the posterior surfaces being marked by three fossae. The fossa for the portal vein, the fossa for the gallbladder, and the fossa, fossa for the inferior vena cava. These separate the right lobe into two smaller lobes on its left posterior part, the quadrate lobe and the caudate lobe. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Wikipedia just say that the left lobe includes the quadrate lobe and the caudate lobe? Okay, i got to look further into this. Well, if you know the answer to this question, please feel free to post in the comment box. Thanks very much.